Now, Mexico has the world's fourth highest COVID-19 death toll. The country is also running low on hospital beds for patients as the number of virus cases, new virus cases at that, they continue to rise. So joining us now from Mexico City to discuss the worsening situation is Bloomberg Deputy Bureau Chief Andrea Navarro. Andrea Navarro. Andrea, thank you for being here. Before we get to the dire situation happening in hospitals, I do want a quick update on the president there, uh, Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador. He was recently diagnosed with COVID-19. Do you know the extent of um, how, it's, how it's impacting him right now? Hi, thank you for having me. Um, well, we don't know as much as we would like to. Uh, the, the government has been very quiet. His office has been very quiet on how he's being treated. Um, this morning, his interior minister, he said, uh, said that he was stable. Um, he's still at the National Palace. There were some rumors that he was being taken to a hospital, but then they shut those down. They said that that's not the, mo the case for the moment, um, but he's supposedly stable. Now, many people criticize his symptoms. stance on the virus as not taking it seriously enough. Has there been any chatter about how people are receiving this information juxtaposed against how he handled the virus in the first place? Yes, of course. Uh, there's been a lot of criticism because he has not only a daily press conference with reporters there, but he usually travels during the weekends um, and meets with tons of people. So just this past weekend, he had several meetings. And now some people who were at those meetings have tested positive for the virus as well. Um, he famously has never worn a mask. He doesn't like them. Um, he has downplayed the virus, as have many people in his in his cabinet, so it is um, it is a, a scary situation when you think of, of how things are evolving in the country to have a president with the virus right now. The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.